gonna teach you how to use the alphabet stitches on your Burnett B77 to make your very own quilt label. This technique can also, of course, be used to put labels and names and words on just about anything. So buckle up and get ready to unlock a whole new skill set. My name is Holly at Night of String and Story, and it's my job to guide you to quilt with confidence. And as I mentioned, today we're going to be featuring this lovely Burnett B77. This lovely machine has a nine and a half inch throat space, a thousand stitches per minute, about 500 decorative stitches, a knee lift, a free motion quilting foot, and as we're gonna be exploring today, a couple of really lovely alphabets. Today, I'm going to make a quilt label for my Lanterns of Hope pattern, which is re-releasing at the end of March, 2024, and I hope that you'll join me. Let's get started. Now, before we can stitch anything, we need to program our Burnett B77 to type out some words. So I'm gonna grab my stylus from right up here underneath the hood. I'm gonna hit this lovely plus button. That means that my stitches are now gonna form a sequence as we begin to program this in. Then I can hit the alphabet, and I'm gonna open up this first nice blocky alphabet, and I'm gonna open it up all the way. If you've been messing around on your machine and you see any stitches show up in this front line or top line, just go ahead and hit the delete key until that's nice and clear, all right? Now we can go through and we can find all of the letters for Lanterns of Hope. The capitals are first, our lowercase come later, We simply type these words in. I use an underscore that you can find down here at the back of the menu as my space. It works really, really well. Keeps everything nice and connected and looks clean. It means that I can stitch straight through without having to break thread. If you prefer to break thread, you could do this one word at a time um, and you know stitch a word and then break thread, and then stitch your next one, okay? I think that that's a little bit clunkier, and we all know I'm not that patient. All right, so I now have typed in Lanterns of Hope up here in this top. I'll zoom in just a little bit so y'all can see that a little bit more clearly. And I wanna hit uh, this little arrow over here on the side again, and it's gonna close that side menu. Now you can just barely see that we're right at the end of the word hope. So before I start stitching, I'm gonna hit this go to top button. And you'll now see that the L is highlighted in blue. That's the next thing that's gonna stitch. And then the rest of the words start to fill in. This little white dot moves as you stitch to show you where you are alongside the word. So I'm gonna scoot our camera over and we'll actually get started stitching this out together. All right, we have our lovely Lanterns of Hope programmed onto our B77. So now we just need some fabric. I've cut out a simple square from the Lanterns of Hope quilt that I happen to be piecing right now. And I'm just gonna fold it in half to mark that center. I'm gonna end up trimming, folding, and altering the exact shape and dimensions of this quite a bit. So I'm just gonna start stitching at the center. Um, if you want to be really, really particular about how your quilt label comes out, um, I recommend stitching out each line so you can measure it on a piece of scrap fabric. Um, and then that will allow you to know how to center your words perfectly on your quilt label. I'm gonna be honest with you, I am not that particular and I'm gonna guesstimate mine as we go along, all right? So I did stitch out a little bit of a test, so I have a little bit of an idea of how long each of these are. I'm gonna drop my foot and needle down. Remember, this little white dot on our screen is gonna move as we're stitching. I know you can't see it real well at this angle, but you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on that when you're stitching at home. I hit this lovely little knot button, and I'm gonna use that to make a knot before I begin stitching all the way down. Now, I am simply using a piece of quilting cotton and 50 weight Aurifil thread. There is going to be a little bit of puckering as I stitch this out because these are dense, tight stitches on a single layer of quilting cotton. If you want this to lay perfectly flat, you can also grab a little bit of Pellon 101 and fuse that to the back to give this a little bit of thickness. Or if you've got a little bit of canvas or other slightly heavier weight fabric in your stash, that would do the trick too. Now I'm already at the word hope. I am through my O and headed into P, so I'm gonna slow down and I'm gonna keep an eye on where that line is, or where on the line the dot is as I begin to stitch around this final curve. Last little bit. 
and we've gone off the letter, I can hit that knot stitch again. I'm gonna stitch in place a few times and then hit my scissors. Look how lovely that is. Stitches out. I love this font because it's quite legible even without any kind of interfacing, without any kind of high contrast thread situation. Now, if you like me or someone who likes to put a little bit more information on your quilt labels, and if you tend to be fairly repetitive in what you put on those labels, you can actually save words here on your B77. So from our stitching screen, we can hit this lovely little heart, and these different options are going to come up. Now, I have already saved Lanterns of Hope, so I'm gonna show you how to do the steps, and then I'm gonna bail on it real quick, all right? So I would hit the Save button, it's that third icon down, and if I hit this green arrow, it would save this new design, all right? You can see here, I've already saved it, so we're gonna back right out of that, but that green arrow would do the trick. Now, here I can hit Open. Oh, now here I can hit Open, my alphabet one, and I'm actually gonna open Stitch Design number two. If I head back up to my alphabet and open this all the way up for you, um, you can see that this says designed and made by. All right, as I go through, design and made by. All right, so I saved this phrase to my machine, which will make it nice and easy for us to stitch out line number two of our label here. Now I know that designed and made by is a little bit longer than Lanterns of Hope. So I'm gonna line my foot up with the bottom of my stitching from before. And I am going to hit my little knot button. And as it gets started, all I have to do is guide the fabric. This also means that y'all can be on a tripod and I don't have to worry about reaching underneath to hit the foot pedal. Just as before, up here on the screen, I'm watching that little white dot. You can just barely see those letters ticking by over in the corner. And I'm gonna begin to slow us down a little bit as we head into the word made so that I can keep an eye on where we're at. You do wanna keep an eye on this. It's not like an embroidery hoop. You still need to guide the fabric and you need to make sure that you stop the machine when it reaches the end of the word. So let's stitch it on slowly here. Let's see. Almost there. Ta-da! Hit that knot again. And then cut my thread. Come on. Designed and made by. How lovely. All right, let's add one more line to this by going back over to our screen and putting my name down at the bottom. All right, once again, we're going to go to this heart and we're going to hit the open for our alphabet. That's that second one down. Then I can just simply select my name. You can see I'm already right here at the top. So I can position my fabric underneath. My name is a little bit shorter than the designed and made by bit. So I can hit that knot button. See how the little knot icon shows up on the touch screen. Hold my start button down and we will be off to the races. Now what you may have noticed and picked up on as I commented on it was that I actually unplugged my foot pedal partway through this. The B77 can be used using the start and stop button. Uh, so if for any reason using a foot pedal does not work for you right now for any kind of mobility issues or in an instance like this, right, where I'm filming and it's a little bit easier for y'all to see what I'm doing if my body can be a little further away from the machine. You can, in fact, unplug that foot pedal and use the start stop button to control the machine. You then control the, the speed with this slider right here. So you can see I just sped it up or I can slow it back down, down by sliding it the other way. That slider is also a really great feature if you're sewing with little ones and you want to be able to control how hard they can mash on that pedal. All right, you can see we're getting close to the end of night here. So as we get a little closer, I'm going to continue slowing us down.
and then I will stop us as soon as we get to the end of that T. All right, and let's do our knot. We may have gotten the very bit of a leg of an H on there. Ooh, that's all right. We can always pluck those stitches out. So if you overshoot it, don't worry. You can just pluck those last few stitches out. Hit your scissors and look at that. Your beautiful label here. We'll do a little bit of tweaking together. It's only human to lose track occasionally of where those stitches end up. I wouldn't worry too much about the rest of your label coming undone because these are pretty dense stitches. They're backstitched on themselves pretty well. So we'll flip this over to the back and pull that to the back and then I can trim these threads to tidy up the back. And you can use Wonder Under or you could uh, to fuse this or you could simply fold under your raw edges and then applique it onto the back of your quilt. Um, or you could stitch this on the diagonal and make a lovely little corner label as well. So there you are, folks, the ability to use the amazing alphabets on your Burnett B77 sewing machine to make a quilt label or any kind of other label you may want, how to line up all the stitches so that you can put them in order in order to spell words, and then, of course, how to save them so that you can have your frequent phrases at your fingertips. One last thing, remember to hit that plus one more time at the end to return to your straight stitch for normal sewing and you are ready to rock.